Um, yeah, uh, this is my first time speaking. Um, I get nervous talking in front of people, but uh, I'm not in front of people. I'm in front of a screen, so we'll see how it goes. Um, so uh, I guess we'll start off, you know, how, uh, how things were. Um, my name is Kyle. I'm an alcoholic and an addict. And uh, I am uh, real close to two years here. Uh, it's, it's right around the corner for me. It's on the 9th. Um, it took me a long time to get where I'm at. Um, I, I started drinking and, uh, using drugs probably when I was seven or eight, maybe nine. Um, you know, and, uh, it didn't start crazy right off the bat. You know, I worked my way up and, you know, like most people do. Um, and, uh, you know, things started really getting bad, probably around 20. Um, I started getting arrested. Uh, I started stacking up um, all sorts of uh, arrests for, you know, public intoxication, uh, having marijuana on me. Um, I, I ended up with a couple felonies and uh, yeah, things were just, uh, not going well, um, to say the least. And, uh, you know, something needed to change. And I came around the rooms when I was probably 16 or 17. Uh, my dad is in the program and he, uh, has been a great example for me. Um, I think he just celebrated 36 years. So, um, it's impressive. Uh, I've never seen him uh, drunk in my life. So, um, he always set a really good example on that. Uh, I have three older brothers as well, um, growing up around them. Um, it was kind of interesting. My oldest brother was, uh, you know, we kind of followed in each other's footsteps. He kind of set the, set the path for, for us, uh, three younger brothers. Um, you know, he, he ran into trouble around 15, 16, and uh, things just went downhill from there. Um, growing up in my household, there was a lot of like fighting and arguing a lot. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I just kind of got used to that over time. But, uh, you know, alcohol and uh, drugs really helped numb it for a long time um, until it stopped working, you know. And, uh, I just, I just, uh, I don't know. One day I, um, I was talking to my therapist and, uh, I told her that, uh, I could stop drinking on my own, you know? Um, I've tried it a bunch of times, but you know, this time was different. I was gonna, you know, do it on my own. Right. And, um, I ended up going out for a round of golf with a buddy of mine and, uh, at the end of the round of golf, I went and had a beer and I had made a promise with my therapist that if I had done that, that I would go to rehab. And so that's what I did. Um, I went back to her, told her about what happened. Uh, we talked about my options and uh, we set up a 30 day rehab. And um, that was a big change in my life. Um, I started taking things more seriously. Um, you know, I was trying to, trying to change. Um, I just fought it for a couple more years. You know, I couldn't, uh, couldn't quite figure it out, but I kept coming back though. I kept coming back because I promised myself that I would. Um, I don't know what was different about it, but, uh, I just knew that I couldn't keep going with the way things were. I was either going to end up dead or in jail. And, um, yeah, so I just kept coming back to meetings and, uh, there was, um, a girl that was, uh, going to my Wednesday night meeting. And, uh, I've told her before that, uh, she's really helped me out in my path, but, um, 
I don't know, it's amazing, you know, you do, you do things sometimes you don't realize, you know, how big of an impact it makes on other people's lives. Um, she saw me coming to meetings, she saw that I was messed up sometimes coming in, um, she could tell that I wasn't all there, you know, and um, she told me about a story that happened to her, and uh, that basically more or less checking into a hospital um, saved her life, and uh, she kind of recommended it for me. And so, sorry, I'm kind of jumping around a lot, um, but so I, I, this is probably my third rehab at this point, and um, I decided to check into the hospital. I don't even remember where I checked in uh, because of the state of mind I was in. Um, I had been taking benzos for probably about two years. And uh, at that point, I had just so much in my system that I just didn't, there was just weeks of just nothing. And um, yeah, something needed to change. And that was probably December of 2017. And uh, still didn't quite figure it out. Took a couple more months, um, but I kept coming back. And uh, eventually, you know, I don't know what, changed but um i woke up one day and you know i think it was the mix of meetings asking for help um i just i just didn't want to drink anymore you know and uh i don't know it was just different and um life after that has been great so far um, the last two years has been spectacular for me. Uh, I've got, you know, a savings. Uh, I got a car that's almost paid off. I got a condo that I'm living in right now with my fiance. You know, a couple of years ago, I didn't think any of this was possible. I didn't think that I was going to make it, you know, and, um, I don't know. Here I am. Uh, I'm really, really happy to be here tonight and um, really glad I can make it. It's been a couple weeks since I've had a meeting, so it's really refreshing to get in here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful to be here tonight. So uh, thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Kyle. Thanks for stepping up and good first time.